guys welcome on back to my channel it's me Simarella I'm so glad you are here today welcome on back and if you are new welcome on in I hope today is a good day for you today as you guys know today is Tuesday but you're probably watching this the next day which is Wednesday we have gotten the big update yes the big update from the Sims they put it out two days prior to the new pack release and we have once and fears, we have curved walls, we have phone updates, we have body here and sexual orientation and more. And hold on, I did hear of some trouble that some people are having. I don't know if it is just people who play with CC and or have a lot of modifications or if it's everyone in general, the um, the problem that people are having is that their sims are automatically aging up as they go into cast. Now, I haven't had that problem, but if you are having that problem or you fear that you are going to have that problem, I would tell you right now to take off the aging option. Just put no aging, just so that it won't happen to you. Um, so, okay, so here is blue. And we're going to take a look at the body here. Here we go. So, you obviously, you click into body. And then you have all your stuff here. So, here is arm here. And there are two options, of course. There are There is your basic very hairy arm here and then you have this one which I believe could be the you have a light light version of body hair that cannot be seen but can grow as the sim grows along um, I don't think it's like an option for nobody here because that wouldn't make sense I think it's just two levels of body here when it comes to this section of the arm here so I'm gonna leave it here very hairy arm here for blue. This is not going to be remaining um, because I don't want blue to have body here. But I, this is just for me to show you guys the update. And I'm just using blue as an example. So we have torso. Uh, so basically that's your chest. Basically that's your waist all the way up to your chest. And we have three levels. So we have the this one here which is basically nothing. Okay, nada, zip, zilch. Then you have the next level, which you have a little bit of, let me bring it back, a little bit of chest here, and then some here along the belly button area. And then here we have full blown hairy. We have a full amount of chest here, and um, yeah, and navel here, which is, yeah. Um, it's there are no other options. This is basically straight hair. There is no curly hair, no kinky hair, no 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 other option but this the straight hair. You can unmatch it or you can match it with your Sims hair color. Um, so now let's go to the back hair, which yeah, are we all excited about back hair? No, <laughs> we are not. I mean some people may be, but hey, you know, I mean if that's your thing, that's your thing. Okay, so we have two levels. We have the, uh, let me turn this around so you can see. Oops. Uh, we have uh, apparently no hair or will eventually age into the hair type of option. Or you have the very full blown extreme back hair. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And that's what it looks like. So there you go. Now let's go on to the leg hair, which I think I'm okay with leg hair. That that that's sort of like a, a natural type of thing, you know. Um, and a lot of people have leg hair. So here we go. Two options, two levels. We have the kind of very fair leg hair that you cannot possibly see, but I think eventually over time they grow. And then you have the full grown leg hair that starts from the ankle all the way up to the top of the thigh um, and around the knee. So 
and it's also on the side and the back of the leg they have the hair all around the sims leg so there you go that is the body hair so that yep there it is so let's go into sexual orientation okay so like i said this is blue we did have pronouns before i didn't change it because the finale was before before that so now i gave him a they them and let's look into sexual orientation okay so yes yeah, so now we're gonna look into sexual orientation here it is so the sim is romantically attracted to here you have two options you can pick men or women or you can pick just men or you could just pick women or you could just click both and be attracted to both um and you can here is the question the sim is exploring romantically selecting no will prompt this sim to reject other sims that do not meet their attraction type so if you say no and for example you pick um men then he they, they will not explore that if you're outside of that category so I'm just going to pick yes because we want to explore everyone. <laughs> and then here is the sim is interested in messing around with, and then it says teen sims will reject other teens that do not meet their mess around interests. Um, and then here you, you can click men or women or just men or just women. But for me, I'm gonna click both, okay? And that is your sexual orientation. Okay guys, so I have decided to make a brand new sim. So um, the sexual orientation is definitely different for teens um, than adults. So if you have an adult, it will simply say, the Sims is interested in woohoo instead of messing around. So that's the difference between the sexual orientation. And then you could pick men, you could pick men, or you could pick women, or you can click both. And they will have woohoo with either or. <clears throat> in build modes, and I'm gonna play around with the curved walls. Now, you get the curved walls. Obviously, you go into walls and empty rooms. So I'm just gonna click that right there and take a look at these curved walls. Now, they are preset because there is, let's see. Um, okay, so you have the wall tool, obviously, which you can't curve it this way okay so don't get upset you cannot curve it by doing that and obviously the regular room too is just a square box you cannot curve that as well have the round room and that's how you get the curved walls folks that's how you get it that's how it's done Bring this one up one more. And as you guys can see, there's a curvedness to the wall. So there you go. It's just that simple, guys, um, to make your curved walls. I wish, I really do wish we could just take this wall tool and just curve it. Um, you perhaps can use the custom room tool. Let's see if it works that way. Uh, let's see if I go down. No, it doesn't work that way as well. Um, so you just have to, you know, hey, take what we could get, right? <laughs> you have to use these rounded rooms. There is a brand new feature where you can, as far as windows go, windows and doors. Well, if you have this question, how can I put a window or door on a curved wall? Or which window and which door goes on the curved wall? Because not all will look good. So what you do is, this supports large and extra large curved walls. And then these 
support all curved walls. So you can get this window and it's perfectly fine. It would definitely fit. So you now have these options where it has supports regular walls, your regular flat walls. And then the next one is supports extra large curved walls, which would be something like this. Okay. And then the last option is supports all curved walls. So the same thing goes, I believe, with the doors as well. Yes. So you have the same. Now you have the same three options when placing doors. So, for instance, supports all curved walls or supports large and extra large curved walls. So you can put a door like this and will not have a problem. So there you go. So that's also another extra little thing that came with the curved walls update. Let's take a look at the phones, shall we? So we know with the base game update, we have a brand new look of the phones and here it is. Don't expect a long list of swatches with the base game update as far as the phone. You are going to need the high school year pack to get those extra colorful swatches that we've seen in the live reveal of the high school pack that was not base game at all as you can see it's the still the same basic colors that we have um but you can change it the look of these swatches but they also have more in the high school years pack um so yeah so i just wanted to throw that out there I don't hope for more swatches with the base game update that those extra swatches that you've seen that is definitely for the high school year pack now let's look at the phone if everything is categorized and everything has a uh, at face um here's entertainment um like i said before you're not going to get anything extra because this is just the base game update uh so here you have browse the web and play a game and then you can scroll over by using this play button here. You just press that, and that is an arrow to the right, and then back, that's arrow to the left. And you can um, switch along. So this is a shopping one, and here you see uh, pol uh, Polopsy is here, where you could, or Polopsy, however you want to say it. Um, you can browse it here. And I'm thinking when you do get the high school year school pack, and you better get it. <laughs> Don't be left out. Get the high school years pack because I, I feel like this one is awesome. It's going to be awesome. So I'm thinking that the trendy, the whole new trendy thing is going to be in this category with the Pelosi and purchase the gifts. Okay. So the next one is where, you know, the home button, where you call the fire department, you have the lifestyle coaching um, advertisement for roommates to show you bill information, hire your service, order a delivery, okay? Next one, obviously, is travel. It shows you the car where you can volunteer, move a household, take a vacation, and just travel around the sim world, okay? And then the next one here is business, where you find a job, you take a vacation day, you know, from, from your work. You find odd jobs, you buy a restaurant, you buy a retail store, you buy a vet clinic. And I'm quite sure within, with the high school pack, you might even see a um, boba, a boba <laughs> store thing here or thrift shop. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you also have sit on a skills class and then quit a job. So... This is just base game. Once again, if you want to see anything extra, you're probably going to have to get the high school years pack. Um, and here, uh, once again, is the social aspect. And you guys know with the high school years pack, the whole social network, especially for the teens, has definitely upgraded. But as you can see right here, we just have our basic stuff. We have your Sistergram story. We have your social media timeline. You have chat with, send text, video call plan a social event and the next one obviously is photos you know you take a, 
a sistergram of your pet, you take a selfie, you take a photo with, take a photo of, or take a photo. So there you go. That is the phone um, in a nutshell. Uh, that's what you have if you don't have the brand new high school pack. If you get the brand new high school pack, of course, there will be some more little added extra goodies on your phones. So oh, even with playing with a brand new sim, I, I have not gotten a fear yet. I haven't gotten any fears playing with a brand new sim or any of my old sims yet. But they say it's in the update, so have a drink. Um, and the fears and the ones are just basically your whims. Order a drink. I'm going to have him order his favorite drink, even though he is drinking. We're going to have him do it again. Have a drink. Um, you cannot X out the fares or the ones or fares. You can only pin them and unpin them. You go into your game options. And you go into gameplay and here, show wants and fears. Um, I have it checked, so my wants and fears or my whims are still there. If I uncheck it, apply. No more whims. And I kind of like it like that. So, um, yeah, so the update is pretty cool. I hope everyone... Um, if you are playing with CC and if you are playing with a lot of mods, definitely take um, your mods and your CC out. Um, especially if you pre-ordered the game because if you pre-ordered the game, it will automatically on. And if you still have your mods um, checked and all that stuff, it will definitely affect it. So. To be on the safe side, take out your mods, take out your CC. Everyone the best of luck when it comes to, no, you know, hope no one gets any crashes or anything gets broken. I wish you all the very best. And thank you so much for joining me today um, and allowing me to show you some of the updates. And yeah, and if you're new and you like what you see, you know, stay tuned for some brand new um, high school years content. And yeah. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button. And I'm Cimarella, and I am signing out. Bye, guys.